The Canton levee system needs some major upgrades. It doesn't make you feel very well standing there looking down at that gate and seeing all that pressure on that uh, on that gate and the water that high. Carol Rager lives on the north side of Canton, right next to the levee and its only floodgate. Every time it rains, Rager fears the north gate might break and flood water could destroy her home. At one time, the uh, Corps of Engineers came by when we was threatened before, and they marked on our homes how high it would be. Mine was about three inches from the roofs. The north gate serves as the city's last line of defense when the Mississippi overflows, but now it's too worn down to protect the community. The north gate is almost 50 years old. It's made out of aluminum and it's wearing out. Uh, and that is the area that takes the hardest brunt of the floodwaters. Even when the, the gates are in the fully open position, water will still hit that levee or the, um, the lock and dam, flow around and hit the north part of our levee, and it is oftentimes um, a foot higher on the north side than it will be on the east side of the levee. For years, many members of the community tried to raise finances to fix the levee system. Canton's Mayor Jared Phillips and other members of the community came up with a $1.75 million bond proposal to pay for upgrades to Canton's 2.85 mile long levee system. That's uh, for the floodgate, for adding uh, height to the north uh, part of the levee. That's for backup power generation for the pump stations and for additional uh, what they call riprap or large stone to be placed uh, on part of the north flank of the levee. If the bond passes on Tuesday, the city can buy a new gate as well as add an additional 18 inches of clay for the north side levee. Phillips says it's the only way to make sure the levee won't break. And the impact of flooding would be catastrophic. We could lose our school. Um, it's just a couple of blocks from here. Um, it would be up to water uh, to the second floor. Rager says it's important that the bond passes in order for her home and community to be protected from future floods. I think if that levee breaks on the north end or that gate, and it keeps getting weaker every time we do have a severe problem, I think it would probably wipe out the town. Derek Frank, KHQA News, Canton, Missouri.